Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're doing another episode with Collecting with Matthew, a series where I, Matthew, who has 8 years of experience with collecting Godzilla figures, will teach you tips, advice, and tricks on collecting your favorite action figure lines. Today's episode is going to be a bit different. As you can see, I'm right next to my shelf. This is because we're going to be talking about how to basically minimize shelf space. Let's say I have a figure that is super long. This is the Playmates Space Godzilla. Now, admittedly in the past, I've had problems with this thing because of its long, well, length. And I've had so much problems with it, you know, to the point where it, it was just getting so obnoxious because Space Godzilla's tail, you turn it up and yeah, that kind of looks better, but it doesn't really provide uh, much leeway. It doesn't free up much shelf space. Uh, for this, all I recommend, really, is if the figure has the ability to disattach its tail, pull it off, and put it more towards the back of the figures. If you're anyway, I have two destroy figures, I got one from a lot, one separately. So, um, so yeah, there you go. That's a pretty easy way to do it. However, luckily, my shelf has enough room so it can support it. It's a new shelf. It's not the same one that I had previously. Probably because of its riser. And ultimately, it can be done. Now let's say the figure in question is bigger. That is why I have a, the, pretty much the same method. However, this one kind of comes at a little bit of problem. Even though in the bigger figure section, it looks like there's a lot more room. Trust me, there is not. This is the Playmates Godzilla 2021 figure. The giant size version. Even at the very tip, it's still a tad bit too large for the shelf. So that is why I personally like to disattach its tail, putting him upright like this, and putting the tail sliding it in like this, so it still kind of looks organic, because he does whip his tail upward in the movie. Because you're viewing it at this angle, you're not going to be able to tell that it's actually taken off. Assuming that you don't already know that, you know, Godzilla's tail in this figure is straight. Anyway, I hope this helps people on freeing up shell space. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Go there and spread the gospel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.